So now we're ready. We've done all of our grommeting. We're ready to rivet on our steel plate. We have our steel plate here and we want to make sure that nothing has changed in our test assembly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit and push our rivets through our bracer to make sure that we can still get them to fit. And if not, it's okay to come and resize the holes with your punch again. Just know that when you're reaching in this curved space, it's going to feel a little weirder doing the punch, but it should not change your hole distance dramatically. So you want to make sure that your steel part fits. And as long as your steel part fits, you're ready to go. But you'll notice I still have my Sharpie mark here that says left. And if you remember, left was indicating front. So if this had a directionality to it, it would be like so. So before I put that on, I'm going to clean it because Sharpie is really hard to get off. I'm using isopropyl alcohol. It comes in a spray. If you don't have this at home, you should. It's great for first aids, um, but it also cleans off Sharpie very quickly. You don't want to do this when it's on your armor because isopropyl alcohol tends to dissolve a lot of things um, besides Sharpie. That's why we use it to sterilize um, because it dissolves bacteria trying to live inside you. So now we know that our metal is clear, there's no Sharpie marks, and you can't see it on either side. If you're not sure, if you feel like you missed a spot, it's okay to apply a little bit more and scrub it. But just make sure that your metal is dry before you put it back on your armor, because if you spritz this, you can get some bleed in your paint, and you don't want that. It dries really quick. It's got a low evaporation point, which means you don't want it near fire. <clears throat> Otherwise, you will uh, burst into flames, and we don't want that. <clears throat> so now we have our anvil, <clears throat> and we're going to use the anvil to actually support the material. Right, so we need the flat of the anvil, the heel of the anvil, or the horn of the anvil to rest on the interior of that rivet so that we can do our riveting operation. And this is a little loud, so I'm going to put my ear protection on. If you don't have earmuffs, it's okay to use earplugs. And then we're going to take our material, right, and I'm holding it so that the rivet is flush to the anvil. And then I'm going to take the ball peen and just hammer over the head. Just enough so that the steel plate can't escape. A little more. All right, so now we know it's fixed on this end. And what we want to do is rotate our armor so that again we can hold it flush knowing that the anvil is supporting our rivet like so. Making sure our steel is captured. So now it's a little loose and we want to suck it down tighter. So we're going to start hammering these rivets a little tighter but we know that we don't need to spend as much time pushing down the metal because the rivet's going to do that part for us. So as I start to hammer, it gets tighter and tighter. And what we're looking for is a fairly low gap between the leather and the steel. So as I pull this rivet down further, the um, steel is going to be very close to the edge of the leather. Okay, there we go. I'm switching to the ball pin side now. So now you can see we've got if we can get that to focus. Try again. There we go. So you can see we've got a rounded dome. All right. We're going to do that on the other end. Bring this closer to the camera. Give me your camera. Go down about there. Make 
make sure that you can really see what's happening. <clears throat> so as I'm hammering, I'm working around the perimeter, <clears throat> going around the edges, making sure that there's as much surface area holding the copper rivet down. That's what we're looking at. And that should be done. So all you have to do is give it a light tug, make sure nothing's coming loose, and then we're ready to start working on the opposite side of the bracer. But that is one fully functional set of grommet lacings and one steel plate riveted to the surface.